I got new shoes. And okay, very girly things. Yeah, I'm a girl. <laughs> what you, do you bought any for me? boy e things? Boy e things. Games. I got new games. Uh, okay. Bastion. I got McPixel because it was a dollar. You actually, did you buy those games though? Yeah, I bought them. Bastion, you bought? Yeah. I got it in a humble bundle. <laughs> it was like a less than a dollar. You can pay. Mm. Humble bundles are amazing. The the humble mm. bundle of July, like right now, is incredible. If you don't have Saints Row or Risen, you can get it for I think four dollars. Very cool. Hmm. Saints Row the third, I should say. Yeah. Yeah. Saints Row the fourth, uh, is like forty nine dollars pre pre order. Yep. Oh, and Rise of the Triad. A retro game from my my past. The remake just came out today, and I forgot all about it until the second. So. <laughs> okay, next question. No, I have more stuff that I want. Oh, know. you bought more? <laughs> yeah. Well, you're a girl, I guess. Uh, dresses, shoes, makeup, Sephora. <laughs> Sephora is a freaking makeup brand, you weirdo. And um, <laughs> I also bought a new skirt. Yay! <laughs> And that's about it. <laughs> and the next question is, what did you learn? Uh, I haven't I haven't learned anything in years. <laughs> I mean, that's just the the way that things are. <laughs> Once you're out of school, you become the dumbest person. <laughs> like I'm I'm not even kidding you. Like, okay, math, like even basic algebra, you have to think really hard about, and I don't. Because yes. why? Why why would you ever need it? Algebra is so freaking easy. I mean, yeah, for you now. No, it was always been easy. So. I know. <laughs> for you now. No, no, it has always been easy for me. For you now. No. <laughs> but when you don't have to use it for 15 years, then you try to do it. It well, takes some it takes some thinking. For me, I I need to learn calculus. So yes. it's for I was and I was that, I so. went through four years of calculus, so yeah, I know how that's like. <laughs> I went through discrete mathematics, through matrices, through statistics, through through calculus, through precalculus, through Ugh. you name it. I was in it. Because well, basically geometry. apparently I was even in astrophysics. And apparently when you're in computer programming, which I had a had a was getting my degree in mm -hmm. They apparently associate programming with the most extreme math in the universe for some reason. Um, I granted there is a lot of it in there, but some of the stuff that we were doing is just crazy. Anyway, hi boy. <laughs> oh, okay. What I learned is actually um, my tablet is so outdated. That it doesn't, it's not compatible with my computer now, so I can't draw. What tablet? Oh, your your Wacom tablet or? Uh, Bamboo. Bamboo? Yeah, well, that's a Wacom thing. But anyway, yeah. yeah, it was, I was so upset. I was like, what? You can't be that old. Oh, wow, you're that old. So <laughs> I. I still, like, uh, I, I tell people, like, you think you, you feel bad about your Bamboo? I have a Graphire tablet. When did those things, the, it, it looks like the 90s. <laughs> The pen that I have has all been cracked and stuff. It still works, but it's cracked. It's uh, I'm I miss drawing on the computer. I have so I many could probably ideas. Probably make it work. I have so many ideas that I can put on to the computer, and I was so excited to find my stylus because I actually lost it, and then I found it. it. Used to be, and maybe this is an option for you. Used to be that for the graphires, you used to be able to get like custom drivers made by some third party guy. Hmm. And they did certain special things with like different uh, pen sensitivities and pressures and stuff. Maybe there's something still out there for you. Maybe. I hope so. I was so upset. I was like, no, please. Please work. But yeah. I still use it, but it's not like I can't draw on it or well, draw, draw on the computer or anything like that. Okay. Um, Next question. Where have you traveled? And this is the last question. Um, this July. Yeah. Uh, 
nowhere. <laughs> yeah, it's the same with me. Except for LA. So, I've been to so, LA. Oh, except for LA, yeah, but <laughs> but you live practically there, so close to it. Close enough that you could drive there. Yeah. Not Actually, a... one more question. And everyone's been asking me when is the next Inferno Mines? <laughs> Um, I talked to Liam the other day, and basically we, he was like, hey, I'm ready to record Infernal Minds if you are. And I was like, yeah, let's record Infernal Minds. And then he was like, oh, but you've got, you've got another super hostile out right now, right? And I'm like, yeah, I do. He's like, well, well I, we don't need to record it. you got a lot on your plate. And I'm like, no, I, I'd like to you know, finish it. Mm -hmm. I'd like to keep doing it. People have been asking about it. He's like, no, you've got a lot on your plate. <laughs> So I don't know if like maybe he's now starting to think, you know, we've all kind of taken a hiatus from there. Well, but. for me, it's just like I've been really, I just needed a break from Minecraft really because I've been just, I've just been so sick of it. Yes. Because if it's you keep playing it over and over, it just gets. I mean, that's the thing that some people, it's hard to, to, I don't think people get it. And I'll be honest about this. This is kind of goes with the last question. I don't think people get it. If you don't make YouTube videos. With Minecraft, you don't know what it's like. And it's kind of cliche to say something like that. Mm -hmm. You don't know what it's like. <laughs> but you nobody understands me. But honestly, like if you might play Minecraft and you love Minecraft and you love playing it every day, all the time, you know, you might be that kind of person. Mm -hmm. But when you have to play it, yeah. when you have to do something that isn't of your own will you know mm -hmm. maybe a map that you didn't really want to play maybe uh, a game with you know, whatever it is maybe you wanted to just build today and I didn't want to go super hostile death every three seconds yeah. today and you have to because there needs to be an episode out tomorrow yeah. that can get really frustrating really difficult to do Day in and day out. So yeah, I can totally see you needing a break. Totally understand it. Well, it's not just that. Like my family has been so annoying as well. So I've just been like so stressed out, and also like yeah. And I mean, for me, I was I got sick. Yeah. Uh, my dad was in the hospital. I bought a new house, and I'm doing renovations. And the electrician came in, and the electrician was like, "Eh, I'm gonna charge you twenty one thousand dollars for the electrical. Twenty one thousand dollars." Oh, yeah, let me just pull out my Ferrari. <laughs> I, I left my pocketbook diamond encrusted in the back seat. Like, oh, God, $21,000. So, I mean, that's that's pretty crazy. I've been going, like, stress has been huge. Yeah. It's like I said earlier, money, I have negative money right now. Um, so and yet you bought mine, Minecraft, Minecon tickets. Totally. Because, <laughs> because... It's it's my job. It's my life. It's, it's your job. And it's your job to go to. It's, it's your job I, to go to Minecon. Well, it, it's it's related to it because I do think like the the position that I'm in now. I've got over thirty two thousand subscribers, I think, mm -hmm. and I'm making enough money every month uh, from YouTube videos that it's not beautiful. And especially in July, my, my revenue got cut in half because that's just what happens in July. Mm -hmm. um, what happens is basically I'm making just as much on YouTube as I normally would uh, in my day-to-day -day job when I'm in this new network that I'm going to. So if I can maintain my levels, at least maintain, that's not including any growth, but if I can at least maintain, then this is my job. And Minecon is a huge, huge part of it. It's like you have a job selling dishwashers, and there's the biggest dishwasher convention in the world going on in Orlando. You know, would you go? Yeah, of course. So that's kind of, it had to be bought. My credit card's probably maxed now, hmm. but I bought those tickets, and I'll buy a couple more when the next batch comes out if I can, just for other people who didn't get it, so... Cough, cough, me. Cough, cough, you. Cough, cough, a huge amount of people. Yeah. So, yeah. If I can go, that would be amazing because meetups with people will be awesome. Yeah, I mean, a, a huge amount of the Red Cube members have already gotten tickets or are confirmed to go. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so it's gonna be, it's kind of it's pretty cool. I'm gonna meet Drew. That's gonna be nuts. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. he'll probably never let you go. Just say. <laughs> I don't know. And Steve, Steve, he's already booked his hotel, so he's got to get at least one of the tickets. Yeah. Um, Steve's gonna be in the same hotel as me. Uh, so that's pretty cool too. I think there's a couple guys from Red Cubed in the same hotel, actually. I think maybe even Drew. Mm -hmm. So we're all basically taking over the Rosen Plaza. It's going to be pretty cool. I'll be getting my own room, so. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, we all, that's the thing, though. We all have our own rooms. And the funny thing is that the only beds that were available were like the double bed rooms. Yeah. <laughs> but we all have like these huge <laughs> double bed rooms. And we're not even, you like, we should totally be pooling our money together that would be the smart thing but yeah yeah because when i'm going to pax i'm already like talking with a bunch of people like okay you're rooming with me because <laughs> <laughs> i can't afford this hotel yeah so oh yeah you are going to pax Completely i am going to pax. Forgot. when is that it's in uh it's september long weekend so uh mm. tail end of august beginning of september oh yep i want to go <laughs> Yeah, everybody does. It yeah. had as opposed to Minecon, which only has uh, seventy five hundred tickets. Mm -hmm. X Prime has about eighty thousand tickets, and it sold out in twenty three minutes. I think it was. Dang. So that's a little bit faster than like Minecon tickets. The first batch sold out in three seconds. Yeah. If you were to put the amount of people wanting to go to uh, PAX into twenty five hundred tickets. I think you would sell out almost as fast as instantaneous can be. It's that popular. So, cannot wait. And really, PAX was the first real convention, apart from like the whole uh, Anime Expo, that I, I had heard about when I was younger. Mm -hmm. every, everybody read Penny Arcade back in the day. And when Penny Arcade Expo came out, it was like, oh! <gasps> They're so popular that they can have a, their own expo. <laughs> it was I, just incredible. And to be able to go is, I never thought, this is one of those other things where I never thought I'd ever be going, but just going to see Scott Kurz and Will Wheaton, the whole D&D &D thing, I'm a super geek when it comes to that kind of stuff. So, yep, love it. Love it. Ah. <sighs> Apparently Sky is gonna be there. Yep. Aren't you meeting up with him or something? Yeah, he he's got tickets, so nice. The one I'm really, really looking forward to meeting actually is Vaughn from the uh my new Sea of Flame series. Oh. He's gonna be there too, and he might actually be rooming with me. So that'll be interesting. If if he can. I might give him a discount price on the room because he's kinda tight on tight on money, so yeah. He has a budget that he's paying for a hostel, I think. And what? And what? Well, why are we talking about this? <laughs> Nobody on earth cares. But there we go. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's it. That's all the questions. We didn't really answer when Infernal Minds is coming back, but yeah, soon, that's true. <laughs> soon, hopefully, because we all want to do it. So, uh, just a matter of coming together. It's all. Nah, I don't know about that, but um, <laughs> there, there, there could be a Yuki replacement. <laughs> there could, <laughs> all three of us have been replaced. Go watch it on, <laughs> go watch it on uh, Paul Soares Junior's <laughs> channel or something like that. I don't know who else is playing it. I was trying to pull up a name. For uh, me, it's just like the time issue right now because the yeah. I just I've been really busy and since um. Just a lot of my personal life has been happening. And, yeah. Same, same, same. So, yeah. so why do you hit me, little whore? Um, stop hitting me! Oh! My torch. Saved yourself. Uh. Yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it, too. Just kind of standing around. Too, so. Yep. <laughs> that's when you know it's time. Oh, actually, one last thing. Um, oh, God. 
No, it's just just for my viewers if they want. Um, I got a Tumblr, yay! So if you guys want to follow me and ask me questions, excuse me. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I did it for that giggle in the end. I hate you. Do you guys know why I get so frustrated in a freaking so Inferno Mines? <laughs> He's got... Yeah, Yuki's got a Tumblr. I got a Tumblr, so yes. it link will be in the description. Yes. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the Poet. I'm pretty sure... All of you guys are Poet subscribers anyway, Poet so... Poet plays on YouTube, Poet plays on Twitch, Poet plays on Twitter. Twitter. Poet plays! Excuse me, did you put... No. It's like that when I found it. Yep, it's like that. I'll see you guys all next time. Poet gives me frustration. And yeah... Oh, Drew! Drew. I hate you. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's it. Uh, that's about uh, it. See you guys all next time. Bye-bye.